Welcome to the History Lord. You join me here today in an alleyway just by Putney Bridge Station. Now we do love a blue plaque on the History Lord and we're here today to see a very special one indeed. Now, Frederick Sims was a businessman, he was an inventor and he was very prolific in the motor industry. In fact, as his blue plaque says, he was the father of the British motor industry. Without him, we wouldn't have the word petrol, Without him, we wouldn't have the word motor car. He was a founder of the RAC. He was a founder of their trade association. So let's have a look at the life of Frederick Sims. Welcome to London. Sims was born in Hamburg of an old Warwickshire family, the son of Frederick Louis Sims and his wife Antonia. He was educated in Germany and London and completed his apprenticeship in Hamburg and Berlin. In 1889, the 26-year-old Sims met and became friends with Gottlieb Daimler. And in 1890, he purchased the rights for the use and manufacture of Daimler's high-speed petrol engine and a few other patents. He first used them in motor launches, but soon paved the way for the fledgling British motor car industry. In May 1891, Sims demonstrated the motor launch on the Thames, and in May 1893 formed the Daimler Motor Syndicate Limited to fit petrol engines into boats, becoming possibly the UK's first motor company. This work was performed under Putney Bridge, where the launches were shown. Sims decided to open a motor car factory in June 1895. He founded the Automobile Club of Great Britain, which later became the RAC, in 1897. He also assisted with the foundation of what became the Royal Aero Club. His motor war car was the first armoured car ever built. It was designed and ordered in April 1899, and a single prototype was built by Vickers, Sons and Maxim. With Robert Bosch, he invented something called the Sims Bosch Ignition Magneto, or Magneto, however it's pronounced. I'm going to have to read this because it's rather complicated for me. This enabled the engine designers to precisely time the ignition of the fuel because it was tied to the rotation of the engine. Now, I may have had a number of cars in my time, but I always had someone else to look under the bonnet for me. In 1907, Sims established the Sims Magneto Company and manufactured magnetos under license from Robert Bosch. And during all of this, in 1907, during a trip to the Alps, Sims discovered a waterfall near the village of Hortsgau, which is now called Sims Wasserfall. In 1913, Sims started Sims Motor Units Limited, at first to sell and repair components, in particular dynamos and magnetos. In World War I, it became the principal supplier of magnetos to the armed forces. A factory was opened in East Finchley, which continued to expand after the war, eventually reaching 300,000 square feet. Sims invented the first rubber bumper and a prototype indicator. Sims may not be remembered for a single outstanding achievement, but his lasting significance is as the father of the British motor industry. He died in his 81st year at Stoke Poges, Buckinghamshire, whilst living at South Oaks, Chislehurst, Kent. His ashes were placed in a memorial just inside the Lich Gate of the Annunciation Church below a large white memorial, which is a copy of Michelangelo's Peter in St. Peter's, Rome. Thank you very much for watching today. I do hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, then please subscribe. And if you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a notification bell just down below. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk, see about a walking tour of London, or have a look in the description below and see about James's YouTube channel, and that's called Last Line Films. Sadly, I haven't got a chauffeur to take me home today. I'm going that way to get the train. See you later.